There is a message from National Treasures. Please check it. Close by the great mausoleum of Emperor Wu of Han is the tomb of the heroic young warrior who served him, the legendary cavalry general, Huo Chu Bing. Huo's tomb is built in the shape of the Qi Lian Mountains to commemorate his many victories on China's northwest frontier. Huo's tomb is surrounded by an extraordinary collection of carved stone statuary. The figure of a man a face racked with pain or anguish. When survival became too hard, there came war. The fertile land of the Central Plains attracted ferocious predators. This represents a goat being devoured by a beast, just as the Shang Nu horseman would sweep down from Mongolia in the northwest to pillage China's northern provinces. They were an enemy much to be feared. This stone steed rears up in defiance, just like the Han Dynasty was about to in 140 BC, when the 16-year-old emperor Wu came to the throne and Ho Chu Bing was born. The Han Dynasty had been founded some 62 years previously and for all those decades had lived with the Xiongnu threat. A heavy-set stone man grapples with a wild bear. This shows the sort of spirit that the teenage general took into battle with him. At the age of 19, Huo Chu Bing led a lightning campaign in which he defeated five Shuangnu tribes in six days. Time and again, he led his cavalry armies in overrunning Shuangnu forces and capturing their leaders. On one occasion, he approached the enemy camp alone and persuaded them to surrender. A mighty warhorse tramples on a supine Xiongnu warrior, lying on his back with arrows in his right hand and a bow in the left hand. In 119 BC, the 21-year-old Huo Chu Bing encircled and killed 70,000 Xiongnu warriors. He conducted a series of rituals in the mountains of East Mongolia to symbolize this historic Han victory before continuing his pursuit of the enemy as far north as Lake Baikal he had effectively annihilated the Xiongnu clan. After the battle, it was said the Xiongnu fled far away and there was no Xiongnu in the southern desert. The Han Dynasty was freed from their historic pest. His contemporary, the grand historian Su Ma Qian, said of him, he strengthened the border, resumed lost territory in Hoshi Corridor, captured the Qilian Mountains, connected with western areas, and defeated the northern nomads. It was to be a dazzling, but a brief appearance on the stage of history. Huo died in 117 BC, aged 23. The stone statues are silent in the wilderness. These simple rough carvings are quite different from the realistic styles of other generation, but are still masterpieces of the Han Dynasty art. The stone is as hard as the will it immortalizes. A life that carved its mark on destiny and was gone in a flash. But the legend lives forever. Huo Chu Bing, the young warrior with the will of a stone.